London, 1854. Over 600 people dropped dead in a single week, and nobody knew why. The entire city was convinced it was bad air, some kind of toxic fog floating through the streets. A severe outbreak of cholera occurred near Broad Street, now Broadwick Street, and Golden Square in Soho, London, England, during the worldwide 1846 to 1860 cholera pandemic. But one doctor thought differently. The outbreak, also known as Golden Square outbreak, which killed 616 people, is best known for the physician John Snow's study of its causes and his hypothesis that germ-contaminated water was the cause, rather than something in the air called miasma. They all clustered around one spot, the Broad Street water pump. People loved this pump. They'd walk extra blocks just to fill their buckets there because the water tasted pure, almost sweet. What they didn't know was that a baby's soiled diaper had been washed nearby and cholera-infected waste was seeping directly into their beloved water source. Snow begged officials to remove the pump handle. This discovery influenced public health and the construction of improved sanitation facilities beginning in the mid-19th century. Later, the term focus of infection was used to describe sites, such as the Broad Street Pump, where conditions are favourable for transmission of infection. Snow unknowingly took advantage of a natural experiment during his endeavours to identify the cause of cholera transmission. They laughed at him. Everyone drank from public pumps. Why would this one be different? But he was so insistent they finally agreed, and within days, the deaths stopped completely. The pump that people trusted most, that they praised for its clean taste and cold temperature, was the exact thing killing them. Families had watched their children die, thinking it was God's punishment or poisoned air, when the real killer was something they invited into their homes every single day. The Broad Street pump still stands in London today, with a replica handle, a monument to the thousands who died simply because they were thirsty. It's a brutal reminder that the things we trust most, our infrastructure, our water, the systems we rely on without thinking, can become weapons without anyone noticing until it's far too late.